everyone. So if you're looking to learn how to add realistic clouds to your images, you've came to the right place. In this video, we'll learn step by step how to add clouds to our photos and transform them into captivating images. So if you're ready, join me with full energy. Welcome to another video on your channel Resource Boy. I'm Mary and today I'll show you the easiest way to add clouds to your images using two methods. Uh, these will help you add realistic clouds to your work in the simplest way possible. So uh, before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. To begin, uh, first download the cloud textures from Resource Boy using the link in the description. Uh, you'll get 100 free 4K textures in uh, JPG and PNG formats. Once you've downloaded and extracted them, you'll see something like this. You'll find many beautiful and realistic clouds that we're going to add to your images. So how you ask, let me show you right now. So um, we just need to um, insert our photo to Photoshop. This photo you see, um, apart from these few little clouds we see here, have no other clouds. So I'm going to use the clouds I have right here to my desire. Uh, so I'm just going to pick one of them. It doesn't make any difference. JPG has a black background and PNG doesn't. I'm just going to start by a PNG one, for instance, a cloud number 33. I'm going to drag it onto our Photoshop just like this, minimize it and uh, place it here as you see how beautiful it's added to my photo you can also get a copy of it with all and drag uh to the other side of your photo or you can use another cloud for instance number 39 which i'm going to use right here just like this and uh, just see how easy it was i'm sure you thought it's going to be something complicated but it wasn't so um as easy as you saw uh, there's a simple tip I want to share with you and this is that uh, if you would want the cloud to be behind your model or if you have any cloud or anything which the cloud is supposed to be behind it, um, what you need to do is to um, use this way that I'm going to show you. It depends on your photo, there's many ways but one of the easiest ways possible which is guaranteed is uh, that you use um the channel section from the window um menu and you just need to choose one of these channels um which separates the model from the sky uh in terms of color you just need to select one of them i think the most suitable one in uh, this photo and most of the other photos that we want to add clouds to is in the blue channel which is one of the best choices so i'm going to just select the blue channel and I'm going to drag it, pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm going to just drag it right on this icon here, which you see. So we let go and uh, you can see that a copy was made from the blue layer and that's it. So now with Control L or Command L in Mac, uh, we open the levels window right here. So here, I want the sky to um, get separated from the rest of my photo. Um, I'm just going to adjust these amounts right here. As you see, this part is getting black. I'm just going to um, increase it more until these hairs are separated from the sky. I'm going to increase it a little more. And I think it's great and perfect right here. So if you want to work more uh, priestly, you can spend more time on this image. However, since this is a tutorial video, I won't extend it too much. So uh, we apply it and we get to this. As you see, a uh, part of our sky is black right here. So I'm going to select my brush, white color, and just cover all of these black parts, which is created right here, just like this. That's it. So uh, for these um, sections uh, around the model, which is a little grey, we need to use the Dutch tool. So we put this on highlight and also we put the exposure on 100. So we're going to just brush these parts right here to make these grey sections white. So it's excellent. Uh, we're separating our sky right now. Also, we can select the black brush and cover the model with the black brush to separate it from the other parts of the image, just like this. Uh, which 
uh, it's so easy to separate it from the background with just a single black brush. So uh, you can continue more uh, precisely, but I'll stop here. And uh, I think that's it. So we're done right here. It's great. I think it's perfect. And that's it. So uh, now um, we just uh, come to select color range and put this section on shadow. And as you see, the black parts are selected. So now from the channel section we come to RGB just like this so we're right here and uh, with control shift and I button on the keyboard we reverse our select towards the sky. So uh, now um, we can create one more group right here from this section right here so we create one group. Uh, I'm going to keep all of my clouds in this group and um you can see that our mask has uh been applied to this group and uh, let's um transfer it with a simple drag so we had clouds here i'm going to just change the color of my group and name it sky that's it so uh, if you pay attention right now the cloud is still covering my model but if i um drag this to this group you can see that the cloud is behind my model right now and this cloud can move behind my model and that's fantastic so um it's an excellent uh, control we can have right here also i'm going to drag this right here and now you can see that the second cloud is exactly behind the model as well so these white parts you see at the bottom right here is because of the uh, mask we didn't complete fully so if you would like you can also uh, hold your button as you see these parts that are white right here I can just choose my black brush just pay attention uh, where we have the white parts uh, so I just need to select the uh, mask part of my group and fill these white parts with the black brush and that's it so um, the cloud can't um, pen uh, penetrate to the lower areas and it won't enter the grassy areas anymore which that is great that's great so just to work on it a little more and also the model which I chose for this tutorial video is a little complicated model but I just wanted this um, video to be complete and professional so you can use an easier model so i'm going to show you some more special points uh i'm going to just um use one of these jpg uh clouds and bring it into my work for instance uh i'm going to use um cloud number 17 i'm going to transfer to my photo and drag it onto the sky folder as you see uh the cloud is into our work just the background is black you need to put the mode on screen and as you see how easy the background is hidden right now and we have uh our own cloud right here as beautiful you see so to make our work more realistic you can use filter blur and gaussian blur and make your cloud a little more blurry depending on your photo and also um if you use a jpg file um you can press ctrl l on any of the clouds you want and you can adjust the amounts just like this and have another uh control on your clouds which is fantastic also you can just reduce the opacity and um any other uh, adjustments you want to have on your photo so uh, we're done right here it was so easy for us to add clouds to our photo I'm going to show you the second method right now so I'm going to remove these two uh, images from here and we still have our group we have the part that we uh, masked earlier on so from the link in the description we just need to download our uh, photoshop uh, cloud brushes uh, which uh, after you double click uh, your photoshop will open one more time but the difference is that the brushes are added this time we just need to select the brush tools right here right click on the photo and as you see that resource boy cloud brushes are added right here so these are, are the same png and jpg versions which has been turned into a photoshop brush uh, to add the clouds uh, with photoshop brushes 
can be much more easier than using the PNG versions. Why? Because before you um, put the brush on your photo, you can see a preview of your cloud similar to this effect right here, which is really absolutely unique. So I'm going to create a layer right here in the sky folder and select um, my cloud color, which I'm going to select this color, which we have a cloud right here. And like this and we let go and we added our cloud just with a single click and the result is absolutely unique and fantastic just see how stunning we was able to add this beautiful cloud to our work so i'm going to create one more layer right here you can also uh, rotate the brush and I have so many more attractive results right here also if you want to change the color of your sky it's very easy you just need to um select this uh, section right here select um color overlay in the group which we had the mask on and you can also have a control on the color of your sky depending on your photo and have a so much more professional design so i hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, I suggest you to uh, check out resourceboy.com and uh, we have so many great resources in our exclusive sections which are all free and you can use them in your projects so wait for our new tutorial videos don't forget to subscribe our channel and comment your questions which I'll answer you definitely thanks for watching this video bye to one more video